A few days back, we featured a video on Guiding Tech stating the top 10 camera apps that you can install on your Android. And using these apps, you can take amazing photos. But still at times, after taking photos, you want to give, the, uh, give your photos a special touch. Let's say using a filter or color splash or using a beauty mode and a lot more. So with that in mind, I'm back again with a list of the top 10 image editing tools that you can install on your Android. So Phil, my name is Ashish, you're watching Guiding Tech and let's get started. The very first app in the list is Adobe Photo Express. And well, when it comes to PCs, we all have that Adobe Photoshop which using which you can do anything and everything to your photos. But using Adobe Photo Express on your Android, you can provide stellar classic filters, crop your photos, remove red eye, and also work on the blemish removal if you're, I mean, if you're too much conscious about the beauty mode. Apart from that, you also get the option to adjust the exposure, tint, temperature, and a lot more. One thing that I like about uh, Photoshop Express is that after you are done with the editing and once you save your photos, it will not uh, save it, I mean it will not overwrite the original image but will make a separate folder where it will uh, save those edited photos. So I mean once you are done, you will have the original as well as the edited version. Up next, we have an app called Snapseed and well, it is one of those Google apps that most of us are not aware about. Yes, Snapseed is an image editing tool which was later acquired by Google because of its amazing image editing skills. On the app, you can manually adjust the image using various tools that are available. You have crop, healing, tune, etc. A major feature is its selective adjustment feature using which you can edit images in section. So let's say that you want one part of the image bright and you can do that by selecting just that portion and all the other uh, portion will be left untouched. Apart from that, uh, Snapseed gives you a lot of frames and filters to work with using which you can transform your photos to a spectacular image. Number third in the list is Airbrush and well to be frank, this one is for the girls who love to take selfies and later on apply some like touch-ups before they post it on the social network. The main strength of this app is its beauty effects, mainly acne removal, teeth whitening, concealer and whatnot. It also has a makeup tool to give that auto makeover to the person in the image. And well, if you have more than one face in an image and one of them is a guy, you probably don't want him with a mascara, right? Well, you can opt that particular face out of the image editing and from what I think, it's amazing. Number fourth in the list is Camera360 and well, this particular app was also there in our list when we talked about the top 10 cameras, but then it also comes with an amazing editing skills. So along with the basic features like blur, rotate, etc. It also includes a portrait mode, painting mode, and you can also maintain the tint and a lot more when it comes to image editing. Under portrait mode, the various beautification tools are available like acne, uh, removal, skin smoothening, white balance, and the painting mode enables you to have a painted version of the image with a variety of options to choose from. Number five in the list is Ivory and I personally like it and this particular app has made a name for itself as one of the top image editing tools for Android. So one of the major USPs of this particular app is its clean user interface. Along with a basic option to crop, frame, rotate, etc. You will also be able to add sticker, text and add overlays to your photos. So one of the features that I like about this particular app uh, is its color splash. So let's say that there is any particular image and you want it to be completely black and white and just one or two colors should be popping out of it. Well, this is the app for you. Next is Magic R Free Photo Editor. And well, this one is a very, uh, very basic app and it lets you edit photos in a flow. So when I say flow, it means that first of all, you'll be asked to move and scale your photos. Then comes the option to choose a filter. And once you're done with that, you can apply tilt shift and much more. Now, personally speaking, I loved using this app because it does not require much exploration and everything is pretty much out there in the header. 
Now next one in the list is VSCO or VSCO as they say it. And this particular app is basically a camera app with a lot of editing options included in it. VSCO has a user-friendly interface which lets you edit your images in a simpler way. A variety of filters are available along with easy to use adjustment tools. The toolbar can be brought up by swiping up which has a variety of tools available like crop, sharpen, perspective and a lot more. So all in all it's an amazing app and I must say that it's quite popular because of its clean and user friendly design. Now up next is Toolwiz Photo Prisma Filters and well as the name suggests it's like a cabinet for a lot of other filter apps out there. So if you need all in one app this is the tool for you. Along with the usual key features that you would need in a photo editor you also get image tuning, blurring, auto toning etc. It has a special range of effects for filters like water reflection, face tune, prisma and a lot more. You also uh, get a pro editing tool which has a wide range of tools to further enhance your images. Up in number 9 we have Bonfire and about this app all I need to say is if you want to, uh, if, if you want to experiment your photos with a plethora of filters then you can try it out. Well apart from the fact that the interface is not that polished and it, it lags a bit get a plethora of filters to try. Well, some of my personal favorite filters were Art Tone and Glass and if you love your photos with filters, only and only then you should go for this app because the basic functionalities like cropping or sharpening, I would really not suggest this one. Last but not the least, we have Pixel R Omatic. Now this one is also a very simple yet a powerful app to edit your photos. Now talking about the app, it will allow you to add filters to your images, crop them to a square one, add frames and then you can move on to effects. This app also features extra filters and frame which you can install and use it later on once you install the app. Now while using the app, I found that the effects are a bit loud for my choice but then there are plenty of images out there which would justify these effects. Well friends, those were the top 10 image editing tools that you can install on your Android. And if you think that we missed out on any of your personal favorites, please do mention the name in the comment section. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do click on the subscribe button that you see on the screen right now. Well, that's all for today and I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, take care and have a wonderful day.